Okay, so um, I uh, decided to talk about the third mobile platform. And uh, does anybody know what this is? Is it a black bear? This is a palm. Oh. <laughs> um, so, um, thousands of people have enjoyed uh, the Flubber ap application on, on Android. <laughs> so I thought it was time to bring the Flubber application to the palm. And being, you know, an employee of HP, I thought it would be a good thing to do. So, uh, this week, um, I had not done an application before, so I decided to give my hand at it. So, my mission was to learn about WebOS. And my, uh, how I was going to do it is I was going to develop a Palm Flubber. So I had some choices to make. Um, I had to decide uh, exactly which tools I was going to use. Um, turns out that Palm has three available. You can use the SDK, you can use the PDK, or you can use the SDK with the Ares IDE in the cloud. That sounded very interesting to me, so I figured, well, Let's give the IDE in the cloud a try. So I signed up for an account. And lo and behold, uh, the IDE in the cloud. So web, WebOS application basics. First, WebOS is basically um, in, uh, embedded uh, Linux OS uh, running uh, kernel 2.6 that hosts a custom UI system manager built on standard WebKit technology, which was kind of a surprise. Um, it's built using standard HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And uh, uh, your WebOS applications are actually written on top of the Mojo JavaScript framework. And they also provide a standard uh, widget toolkit for buttons, sliders, and that kind of thing. Um, it also gives you access to some of the selected hardware uh, services and uh, features such as the accelerometer and the camera and whatnot. All from JavaScript, which I found was very interesting. Um, they're also designed as actual web applications. So, uh, where you've got a client and a service tier that are distinct, uh, but they're actually both installed and running on the device. So if you're familiar with enterprise development, it felt very natural to build a web OS application. And the client side follows a very strict MVC paradigm. So decomposing the web OS apps. So you can see the little flubber app here on the right hand side. Um, so first of all, your, your, your applications are decomposed into scenes and stages. You can notice the, the WebOS has this card metaphor here, and each one of the cards is basically a stage. You then push onto the stage various scenes. So you can think of a, a stage as your browser and a scene as your, um, as, or sorry, your, um, your tab is basically your, um, your stage. Uh, and as you move between web pages, you're basically pushing scenes. You're pushing and popping scenes. It's kind of a very easy metaphor. Then the stage roughly corresponds to the application card, like I mentioned. And each scene has underlying JavaScript that provides the behavior of the scene itself. So when you're writing a WebOS app, you're actually writing JavaScript, which I've found to be um, pretty straightforward. And uh, in terms of the sources that I required, I needed a single stage assistant, which is pretty boilerplate. The only thing it its responsibility was was pushing the first, uh, was pushing the first um, scene onto the stage. And then I needed a scene assistant, which was a JavaScript file that handled uh, most of the behavior um, uh, in term, uh, that's in the existing scene. And then some business logic I decided to cook out into a separate uh, file for my timer functionality. And um, some media. I needed to get the whipping sound, of course. Um, I'm not even going to talk about this because it was so simple. Um, it was a simple example of the scene assistant, and I'm running short on time, so I'm going to kind of... Uh, supporting JavaScript notes. The, the, these are all screen captures actually from their uh, from their web IDE, which I found to be very easy to use. And of course the UI design, all in a web browser. And I want to give a little demo. Okay, so your basic flub application. Starting timer. Uh, Dick, I've already filed a, um, a, a bug report on this one. I've got a, a problem that I discovered right before here. Um, okay. Um, and then when you're ready to email it, plops it over there, which is nice. You can notice that this is the classic WebOS um, multitasking capabilities, which is really nice, the card metaphor, when you're ready to send it, or you can throw it off the screen in order to throw it away.
And the whip does not work on the on the emulator, but it does work on the device. That's it.